is Mark Absalon here. Hope you're having great and wonderful Halloween. Well, I think we need to talk about blood. A lot of you guys have probably priced movie blood. Some of the movie blood out there can be kind of pricey. Well, what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make your own fake movie blood that's non-toxic. And we'll talk about some of the variations of the formula too. But let's get started by talking about the supply list because you gotta have supplies before you can make the blood. Unless you wanna like cut open your wrist and bleed everywhere. Well our supply list includes corn syrup, preferably the cheap kind. Food coloring, red and green, and if you've got some blue, go ahead and use that too because you might need to add it to it to get that kind of tinge, or you can go all green for a green alien blood goo. We'll also need cornstarch, two teaspoons, and a little bit of water, which is about a fourth of a cup, but you might want to forego that entirely. Now let's get started by making our fake blood. The first thing you want to do is pour about 12 ounces of your Cairo syrup into your glass container. The reason we're using Cairo syrup is because Cairo syrup is like blood. It's thick and we want that imagery when we actually make our artificial blood. Because you know if someone's actually bleeding it starts to get pretty thick relatively quick and Cairo syrup is ideal for that, even though it's kind of sticky and it can sometimes attract flies. Once we've got our Cairo syrup actually poured in, we want to use a little cornstarch because we want to kind of give it this milky-like texture. So we add that in and we start mixing it up. You want to make this as even as possible. You're going to notice lumps are going to form. Get those out because we don't want any lumps in our Cairo syrup. Because we've got to get that milky texture that blood has. Now that we've got the lumps out of the corn syrup and it's this milky, nasty looking stuff. Now we have to add the food coloring. Put about anywhere from 20 to 40 drops of red food coloring and when you're actually creating your blood. Add about three to four drops of green to get the nice red blood texture. If you're going for a zombie, add a lot more green to give that black look so that it looks like the guts have been sitting there rotting for quite some time. If you're going for an alien look, just add green so you've got green alien blood. Now once you've got your blood, the consistency that you want it in redness or greenness or whatever, because the recipe isn't exact, kind of experiment and play around with the amount of drops to put in, etc., to actually make uh, make it look the way that you want it to look. Well, right now we've got a really nasty, thick blood. Now you can leave it like this and use it this way, or you, you can take our water and add that to it to make it a little less consistent. So we'll add a little bit of water and mix this up. Once you get everything mixed in water-wise. You can use a fourth of a cup or you can use less of a fourth of a cup. I used a little bit less than a fourth of a cup because I wanted a little thick but not really really thin. Now if you're shooting like a zombie flick or something like that and you want really major graphic gore, go with a thick look and don't even add any water at all. But like I said, this is not an exact science. You don't actually even have to use corn syrup. If you're wanting something that might be a little bit more toxic, try using a liquid detergent that is actually clear. And that will work also. But once we get this mixed up, we pour it into our bowl, like so. And we've got a nice bowl of blood for me to have a little eat a mm. good well guys non-toxic blood
for your films. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Tips and Tricks. If you like this video and you want to learn more about video production, go over to my website, markapsalon.com. Check out my training DVDs and some of the forums I've got over there. I've got so much stuff. But guys, hope you've enjoyed this edition of Tips and Tricks, the Halloween special edition. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my big... Empty. It came in peace for all mankind. Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is.